I'm Simon Chen. I'm Hong Konger. I'm Simon Chen. I'm Hong Konger. I'm Hong Konger. I'm from the grassroots family、um, in Hong Kong. My father,、uh, um, at his about twenties, and then he fled to Hong Kong because of the、um, Cultural Revolution. So as a New immigrant, but I born and raised in Hong Kong. We try our best to get more, you know,、um, education to change our destiny. Because of the political atmosphere have been changed after 1997, the sovereignty have been returned back to China. We just don't. We got this place just for the quick money, and then we leave.、Um, but we think that's the place belonging to us. So we have also have a duty, an obligation. To make this place better, I wanted to know what actually happens to the world. So international politics is one of the dream I wanted to study. When I finish my degree at LSE, I need to think if I wanted to serve Hong Kong and wanted to back to Hong Kong, what kind of works I can do.、It's、the job is in the British Consulate General in Hong Kong. What although I can't be a diplomat, but I can.、Um, Excel my、um, knowledge and expertise on trade policy, economics knowledge, and something to achieve something relevant to diplomacy. China has never changed. We learn about Chinese history, even in Mao era. If you're counter-revolutionary, if you're landlord, if you're any things, they will label you. They will mobilize lots of people to criticize you. You are a traitor, or you exploit our laborers, and you are something. It's the same, but just used under the other name. At that time, I have a clear sense that they wanted to do political persecution. They asked me a series of questions about the protests and the roles,、uh, um, the, the role of the UK behind protests, and my role in the consulate. I sense that they intend to charge me politically. When I heard about they intend to charge me soliciting prostitution, I was relieved. Of course, I deny that accusation when I was released, but I have no chance to deny it when I was detained. They use lots of illegal process. If I'm not cooperative, and then they let, they hand it back over to those plain clothes officers, that I will face. Harder charge instead. In the future, if any chance to run for the election, they will block it and disqualify it. I would say, if my family members and my girlfriend, if they not expose it to the media, whether I've been released, because that would probably even punish me harder. When I was in the detention center, they clearly said they intend to imprison me for at least two more years. I believe that's the. Secret police approach my family members in mainland China. My mother blamed me, and saying that we speak too much. I ask her, is that if any groups or anyone approach you or your family members in mainland China, is that if so, what can you help? I pronounce a statement to cut tight with my family members. Once I'm been targeted by Chinese authorities. Uh, I've never ever got the chance to get rid of that monitor list, and my family members very quite you know they're quite usual. They don't want to move. They just wanted to be a very you know ordinary people. I wanted to say that the、um, we fight for it within the institution is still important, and wanted to convey the message not only me. If the Hong Kong citizens, their legal rights have been damaged, where they have brave enough to stand against to Beijing, to central authorities, although most of us know that there's almost no possibility, but we need to have a platform to voice out our message. And also, I wanted to say thank you and hang on there. I have been tortured. I have been in a very deep fear of uncertainty. Of my future, I've been put into solitary confinement. Also, I sacrificed my family, but I never ever regret to speak out because that is the right thing to do. Rarely to get a huge and massive international support morally, I wanted to say never ever try to give up.